Hey guys, what's up? It's Umber here, and I am back again with another Final Fantasy related video, and today I want to be talking about what kind of crossovers or collaboration events that I want to see in Final Fantasy XIV, and some of you guys may wish to see as well. So these are just kind of the collaborations I want to see in Final Fantasy XIV, and yeah, so let's get started. So, as we know, there has been quite a bit of collaborations before in Final Fantasy XIV, there's been events with Final Fantasy XI, another MMO that Square Enix made in the Final Fantasy series, with, with also main games such as Final Fantasy, both Final Fantasy XII and Final Fantasy Tactics, Final Fantasy XIII, Final Fantasy XV, and other games like Dragon Quest or Garo, that's a TV show, and Yokai Watch, with some and Monster Hunter World, and even some that are full-on raid series, like like I mentioned, the Evil East games, Final Fantasy XII and Tactics, and even Nier Automata. So, anything could happen, really. And here are some of the games that I want to see cross over into the world of Eorzea. So let's get started. So, the first game that I want to talk about that I really want to see a collaboration event for is Kingdom Hearts. Now, I know there's a lot of people who play Final Fantasy that love Kingdom Hearts. The two series are very similar, with Kingdom Hearts having a lot of Final Fantasy elements, even Final Fantasy characters. So, so naturally, there's a lot of people in Final Fantasy XIV that love Kingdom Hearts and would love to see a crossover. Although, if a crossover event such as this were to happen, it would probably focus more so on characters and elements originating from the Kingdom Hearts series, such as the main protagonist, Sora, Organization 13, Heartless and Nobodies, Keyblades, etc. Because I'm not 100% sure how they would be able to get characters from Disney into another Square Enix game, Final Fantasy XIV. But hey, anything's possible. And we can do Fates where we fight Heartless, and maybe some of the glamours that we could receive would be Sora's outfit, or maybe an Organization 13 outfit, and maybe some of the weapons we could see that would be awesome are Keyblades for some of the classes that wield swords, like Paladin, Samurai, Dark Knight, and Gunbreaker. And maybe for Paladin we could get a replica of Goofy Shield, and for any staff-wielding users like White Mage or Black Mage, we could get a replica of Donald Duck's staff. It may not be the most likely of events happening due to the series being heavily associated with Disney, but it would be an extremely enjoyable crossover event if it were to happen nonetheless. And so the second game that I want to see crossover is far more likely Final Fantasy VII, especially, more specifically the Final Fantasy VII Remake, although Final Fantasy VII would be cool too. Now, this crossover event would probably be the most likely to happen in Final Fantasy XIV. It's only a matter of when it would happen, since a lot more of the recent Final Fantasy games have received a crossover in, with Final Fantasy XIV in the past, like Lightning Returns, Final Fantasy XIII, having a crossover event in 2013 to promote the game, and a Final Fantasy XV event in XIV in 2019, almost three years after the game came out. Now, I can see the most likely date of this event being sometime around March or April of 2021, since it's rumored to be coming to other platforms around that time, since the box art of the game states that Final Fantasy VII Remake is a timed exclusive until March 3rd, 2021. So they could have an event closer to the date when the game is brought back into the spotlight. And I know we already have Cloud's Advent Children set and his hairstyle, which is extremely rare. I think only a handful of people have it in the game. I've seen some, like, walking around Limsa and such. But it would be awesome to receive both his original outfit as a reward for whatever they decide to do, and perhaps even his hairstyle as well. And maybe even a replica of his Buster Sword as a glamour piece for Dark Knight, since Dark Knights wield two-handed swords just like Cloud. And even with the male idol pose, it even looks like uh, Cloud Strife's uh, famous sword pose. 
It'd be cool to see if we got the Busted Sword, similarly to how Lightning got a Paladin replica of her sword and Squall's Gunblade was a collector's edition bonus for Gunbreaker. So the next game I'd like to see crossover with Final Fantasy XIV is Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Now, okay, hear me out. Final Fantasy XV had a crossover event with Assassin's Creed Origin in 2017 and vice versa. So a crossover event with Valhalla and Final Fantasy XIV wouldn't be completely out of the question, especially with how well Valhalla has been received by both critics and players. So I'm not completely fucking crazy. Now, going with how the Monster Hunter World event went, and since I don't think world travel would make much sense in this case, one of the ways how Final Fantasy XIV could explain how Eivor and the Raven Clan is in Eorzea is that they are a group from Avalafia's Spine, or the Northern Empty, both of which being ancestral homelands of the Sea Wolf and Hellsguard Rokadon, respectively. But that doesn't mean that Eivor and the Raven Clan will be Rogadon in this case, although I picture Eivor as more of a Highlander. So, I think it'd make more sense for the Northern Empty since the Sea Wolf Rogadon were known for being seafaring raiders, and they fled to make a better life in Eorzea, similarly to how in the game Eivor and the Raven Clan fled Norway to have a better life in England like the game. And kind of like how the Monster Hunter event gave you a trial where you fight Rathalos that you can still do to this day, or an instance in the Final Fantasy XV event where you fight Garuda with Noctis' powers, it'd be awesome to see a mini dungeon trial or solo instance where you raid an enemy-controlled settlement in Lanasia, with the main target being a figure in the Order of the Ancients, which is the predecessor to the Templars from the Assassin's Creed game. Kind of similar to how when you conduct raids on settlements in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. This would be pretty interesting if they did something like that uh, for any crossover events that they might do, similarly to how we got to fight Rathalos in the Monster Hunter World crossover events. And on the subject of rewards, I'd like to see Eivor's outfit, and maybe a Danax weapon for Warrior, or Eivor's dual axes for Ninja, since there isn't really a dual wielding axe class in 14, but I think the axe would be the most, I guess, best representative weapon for Eivor. And the final game I really want to see crossover into Final Fantasy XIV is Near Replicants. Now, a lot of Final Fantasy players in the past have expressed the wish for a Near Automata crossover event when Near Automata came out and even long after. And I can say most of us were pleasantly surprised when we received not only that, but an entire Alliance raid series based on Nier Automata. And as enjoyable as that new raid series is, it'd be pretty awesome if the Warrior of Light got to meet their older sibling, Nier Replicant. Additionally, Nier Replicant is set to receive a remake that's going to come out on April 23rd, 2021. Near Replicants was originally only re released in Japan for the PS3 exclusively, whereas Near Gestalt, the version that only got released on the 360 in Japan and the rest of the world on both systems, so many of us never got to experience the original Near before, especially Replicants. And naturally, Near has already made its way into Final Fantasy XIV. So that could be one of the ways they can promote the, the new release through a crossover event. Especially one where we fight the shades that have made their way into Eorzea or somewhere in the world. Although, now that I think about it, that would be pretty similar to the Kingdom Hearts idea. But it seems much more likely than Kingdom Hearts. And the rewards I'd like to see would probably again be character outfits from the game such as Nier, the brother version, or Kaine's, although for the love of god I hope Kaine's outfit is gender locked. I really don't need images like that burned in my mind. And for weapons, it'd be awesome to see, like, maybe Scholar or Summoner get a replica of Grimoire Weiss or Grimoire Noir, and maybe for Dark Knight Beast Lord. 
So I'm totally not biased for Dark Knight. That's why I'm not suggesting all of the weapons should be Dark Knight weapons. So these are some of the crossover events that I'd love to see in Final Fantasy XIV sometime in the future. Anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video as I enjoyed making it and stuttering. Comment down below what crossover events you'd like to see in Final Fantasy XIV and subscribe for more Final Fantasy XIV content. I should be doing more content for 5.4, so stay tuned. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch and I'll see you guys later. You guys are awesome. Umbra, out.